Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today because we are going back into childhood nostalgia. Sigma collabed with Alice in Wonderland and if you've seen my arm sleeve, whatever, I have the Alice in Wonderland sleeve. So when they released this, I absolutely had to pick it up. It does not disappoint. The artwork is stunning. I love the Alice silhouette where she's just falling down the rabbit hole. And there's a beautiful color story. We have a cheek duo. And then of course, there's a lip set as well. So you guys, before we jump into it, you know the drill if you've been here before, but if not, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications, new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But you guys, if you wanna see how I got this look using the Sigma Alice in Wonderland collection, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so Sigma did a collab with Alice in Wonderland, and first off, this packaging is absolutely stunning. It's just a picture of her silhouette just falling through the air. I actually have a full sleeve of Alice in Wonderland, and, and of course, this is a day that I decided to wear a sweater, but I do have the Red Queen here in all our glory, just yelling and squawking with the flamingos. But I have the Cheshire and Alice, just, it was something that I wanted growing up. as like a whole story time. But I was so excited when I saw this and it's all psychedelic, the purple and teal, the color story on this. When you look at the plastic covering, it's also the same design. I tend to keep these from Sigma because they are decorative. They're not just that plain flimsy plastic. It's actually got some, like strength to it. All right, so now in here you have a mirror and then you also have a brush. I do love the Sigma brushes. I tend to use them a lot. I think I have the Cinderella one in my bin right now, but you get a fluffy crease brush and then you also get one of the compacted smudge brushes that I like to use. This one's a little bit more fluffy than what I tend to use but it is a really nice eyeshadow brush. So I like the dual ended. Now, the color story on this palette. Look at those shades. I am actually gravitating towards these shades right here along with the golds. I have not done a gold eyeshadow shimmer. I tend to go for more of the light shades, but I'm looking at this color story and I've used a lot of these shades recently. But I will say, Sigma has some beautiful shimmers. Their eyeshadows perform beautifully, so I'm really hoping it's the same quality that I'm used to. And of course, I wanna go ahead and swatch some of these shimmers. Also looking at this, Sigma does some beautiful presses for the collabs that they do. So like right here, you've got the Tweedles, you've got the teapot that the mouse lives in. You have, you have the Cheshire Cat, which that is his coloring and it's beautiful but you have Alice in the blue, the Hatter's hat in the green, and then it looks like the mouse, no, the white rabbit. Huh, the name. So it's actually named white rabbit, but there's a pressing of the rabbit in there. I'm late, I'm late. This brings me back, I love Alice in Wonderland. Now let's go ahead, swatch some shimmers so we can actually dive into this colorful palette. This first shade is white rabbit. It is so beautiful and icy. Love this shimmer shade. Then you have Alice and it's more of like a satin than a true shimmer. Tea Party, beautiful lime green. Love this shade. It's kind of a peridot, which is actually my birthstone because I was born in August. And then you have Lost. In the pan, it looks like it might be a suede or a satin. It is such a stunning shimmer with the silver glitter in it. So let's go ahead and swatch those right there. Oh, look at that, love that. Then you have Cheshire. This is such a stunning like fuchsia purpley shade. And then you have Mr. Walrus. Ooh, so beautiful. So there's all the shimmers. Okay, for my first shade, I'm gonna take 10-6, which is what is on the Hatter's Hat. This shade's gonna go into the crease just as my start or buffer. 
Ooh, I really like that shade. It's that mauvey pink that I gravitate towards. This is also a shade I would wear for work. I absolutely love this shade. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Queen of Hearts, which they put Q and the heart emoji, which I think is super cute. I'm originally gonna take it on the fluffy crease brush and then I'm gonna go in with the compacted smudger. I'm just a little bit lower down. All right, I'm gonna switch up my brush. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Curiouser and I just wanna deepen this up a little bit. So I'm gonna take my pencil brush and see if I can just kind of do a defined shading. Just to kind of give a shadow. Okay, originally I thought I was gonna go into Cheshire, which is that like fuchsia pink, but <laughs> I don't think it's actually the shade I want for the red. I'm actually gonna go into the shade Mr. Walrus, which I did say I wanna use the gold shade. So we're going to go ahead and do that on my finger. I'm gonna grab a dry brush and see if I can just get a little more precise in the inner corner. I love how nicely the Sigma shimmers go on with the dry brush. And then back into Queen of Hearts. I'll be honest, I don't know if this is my favorite color combo I've ever done. It's reminding me a lot of Gryffindor from Harry Potter. It is what it is, we'll see how it looks at the end. I kind of wish I had done some of the like blues and teals, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, now we need to do the under eye because I also have some cheek products and lip products. First shade I'm gonna use is 10-6. That shade is stunning. I feel like I have a similar shade in another Sigma palette, but it might be a little more like pink. Then back into Queen of Hearts. <laughs> She's doing the finger pointing like off with her head. I'm not trying to take this too far over. And then into Curiouser. This one's just going right here in this corner. So we're gonna go into White Rabbit for the inner corner, but I do have a cheek duo that has a highlighter, which will be for the brow bone. You know what? I completely forgot that I had this brush. <sighs> Darn it. All right, before I go and do eyeliner and brows and all that. I do have the Cheek Duo. Same really cute packaging. And then inside here you have a blush and a highlighter. This is a little more cool toned. So I'm interested to see how it looks, but the shade names are Tickled Pink and Paint the Roses, which are so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go into Tickled Pink. I love the pressings in their palettes. Um, That's pigmented. I may have went a little heavy on that blush. Now into Tickled Pink. And the brow bone. I like that. It's not like a beaming highlight, but I actually like how it turned out. Now for some brows, eyeliner, mascara, and I'll be back for the lips. And this came with a lip set. There's a lip cream and a lip gloss. Now looking at these, this cream, beautiful mauve shade, but this has so much glitter in it. So of course, we're gonna try both of them. I'm gonna start with just the lip cream and see what it looks like, and then add the topper on. This, I don't know if I need a lip liner, but I wanna try it on its own just to see. And then if I have to take it off and start over, I will. There's no scent. Sigma doesn't usually scent their lip products, but I like to still try and see if there is a scent. 
So this is really sheer. <laughs> so if you want a more defined lip, go and do a liner. I'm gonna see if I can build it up a little bit. It does feel nice on the lips. So I'm gonna do that for right now. I'm gonna try out the lip gloss on top of it and then decide if I need to take everything off and do a lip liner and then the lip cream on top. So I didn't tell you, but the lip cream is in Kiss the Tulips, which I think is a really pretty fitting shade name. And then this one is Singing Violets. I love that scene with all the flowers when they were singing. And... It's very glittery, but it's not like super chunky. And actually I kind of just like my lips how they are right now without doing lip liner. If you want something that is pretty clear, <laughs> these don't have like a heavy color to them. I was kind of nervous with the purple and I was wondering if I was gonna have purple lips on top of a very red and gold <laughs> eyeshadow look. And I'm thankfully surprised. It's pretty much my color, just quite a bit of glitter, which I'm not mad at. I do like shiny things. And it feels really nice on the lips. So if you decide to pick that up, that's what they look like. But I like how it turned out. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. I really like how it came together. I wasn't sure about the eyes at first just because it's very Gryffindor to me. But I think the brown and the outer edge, the eyeliner, mascara, just brought it all together. And I really like how it turned out in the end. The lip gloss, I like that it's not super intense on the color and it feels really nice. The glitter is light and it doesn't feel chunky or gritty, which is the worst. And then the cheeks, you just have a flush of color and a really pretty highlighter, which in the light just catches subtly. Now looking at the artwork on this palette, it's absolutely stunning. It gives me a whole Alice in Wonderland vibes, which is what you want when you buy an Alice in Wonderland palette. And then of course, I love that there is a brush from Sigma because Sigma has some amazing brushes. I have a couple in my collection that I reach for and this color story. I think next time I'd probably reach for like the teals and blues because they're very pretty. But I also wanted to play with this Cheshire color, which I didn't get to this time. So I feel like I will actually reach for this palette a couple more times and try out the shades and see what it's all about. So the little cheek duo, just a reminder of the colors. Very cute, very cool toned. I really like just how it looks on the cheeks. And this collection itself, super cute. I didn't even show you. There's little like flowers. What are they, the mums? They're super cute. I love all the tiny details, the pressings in, the pans, and it just, I love Alice in Wonderland. It was one of my favorite movies growing up. And to see that they did a collab with Sigma, I just, I wanted to try it out. But you guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications, new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one.